Hi, this is Brad Smith from Beersmith.com, and in this video I'm going to cover the use of the new Water Profile tab in Beersmith 3. The new feature lets you adjust your water profile right in the recipe to match a given water profile. I do recommend that you finish your recipe before you adjust the water, as changes to the grain bill may affect your mash and sparge volumes. Also, you should check your water profile again after you scale a recipe, because again the proportions of mash and sparge water may have changed. I'm going to start by uh, opening up this recipe and going to the new water tab, which is right over here. And I click on that. Now on the top, uh, I have listed the water profiles that I'm using. Of course, there's none listed here. And then on the bottom half here is the water adjustment salts. And then of course the uh, adjusted water profile analysis at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to start by adding my personal water profile, which uh, I had tested from the local water source. It's right here. It's uh, Brad's water profile, and I just click OK. And I'm going to add it for the full volume in this case. If I was working with um, blended water, I could actually uh, blend two different waters here and put, for example, four and a half gallons of one water, perhaps a distilled water, and four and a half gallons of my local water if I needed to like uh, dilute my local water because my local water was not really suitable for, for brewing or too harsh. Um, next, I could start adding water salts just by clicking on the Add Salts button here and picking the salts that I want to add and the amount. But in this case, I'm going to match a profile instead. Uh, I'm making an IPA here. So I'm going to click on the Match Target Profile. I'm going to pick a target profile. And let's see, somewhere here is the Hoppy Water Profile. Right here, Hoppy Pale Ale, I'm going to go with that. So all I do is click OK, and it'll actually calculate for me uh, the amount of uh, ions that I'm going to get when I match it, as well as the best mash additions and sparge additions, and it does treat those separately based on my mash and sparge volume uh, to reach my target profile. And all I got to do now is hit OK, and you can see that all those ingredients have now been added into the recipe in the correct amounts. And I can go down here and look at my actual water profile uh, f that's matched. So basically it shows, you know, the ion content for the water profile that I'm brewing, the sparge volume, um, as well as the adjusted sparge water profile are all down here, uh, the alkalinity and so on. Um, I do want to mention there's two other things here that you can check, two other boxes here in the middle that you can check. The first is don't include water salts, and the second is hold the sparge salts until the boil. Um, the don't include water salts is actually used if you're using a Beersmith 2 water profile that may have had water salts already added to it. If you recall in Beersmith 2 for legacy support, uh, a lot of the water salts could be included with a water profile. So when you use a, a water profile that already has those salts in it, what will happen is this, this box will get checked and it, and it won't add those things twice because that's what would happen in that case. And then the second box here you see is hold sparge salts until boil. This is something a lot of advanced brewers do uh, in order to keep the, the sparge pH down. They sometimes will hold the salts until the boil. I don't actually want to do that in this case. I want to use them in the sparge. And you can see as I push that button, it toggles in between the two. Uh, so now I've got uh, my sparge water adjusted, my mash water adjusted. They're all in the recipe. And in fact, if I go back to design view, you can see that I've actually got all these things added in. Plus, I've got my uh, water profile added in, so I'm ready to brew this uh, pretty much. The next step would probably be to go to the actual mash profile here and start playing around my mash pH. Uh, and I've got that covered in a separate video. So that's a short overview of how I can use the water profile tab in Beersmith 3. Um, I also encourage you to watch the related video on mash pH, which generally, generally adjust the water first and then you adjust your mash pH second. Um, for more videos as well as recipes, uh, discussion, articles, my podcast, and the 21-day free trial version of Beersmith, please visit my website at beersmith.com.